Howdy do there, buckaroos. It is your boy, White Trash Hillbilly. <laughs> I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. Do well. Oh, God. Hello. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. Okay. For your trouble. I really want to know what happens if I just don't tell him anything and I don't trust him at all ne next time I play this. What? Nothing to say? The clock will do that to you. Okay. I'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? <laughs> Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well, it would be a shame. To waste such influence. Then I realized there's something far more valuable oh, than God. your friends at court. What is, don't. What are you gonna say? Your name. Nope, nope, nope. I nope. want you as my wife. Nope, nope. I would rather die. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Iron Rod, and you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros. My family would never allow it. If okay. you go anywhere near Forrester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. Really? That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. Marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Iron Wrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. No. See, you're already learning when to be silent. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a sound. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. Nope. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. Well, I don't know how to tell him it was Tom. That coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. Mm, you'll give up nope. your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. Nope. But you'll be alive. Nope, 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 nope. I will never. So, Mira, what do you say? Nope. You will never have Iron Wrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. See? Going out with dignity. Because I really do think I'm going to die now. God. Are we gonna see or die or Oh my god, I don't care about you anymore. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go. Sophie. <laughs> yeah, where's Cotter by the way?
When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. Oh, God. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. Yeah. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. Yeah, I'll do it. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. Okay. Oh, we're going to a type of mountain now. This is sad. I mean, I like Finn more, but still, though, Cotter. Hello. What are they doing to him? Are they burning him? No. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. What did you do? Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? <sighs> you realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. What are you yeah. doing with that knife? It was meant for you. Don't worry, she's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. so bad for him. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Close to fight. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. What do we do? Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. Really? In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. Okay. It seems only right that you should have this now. Am I here for a reason, Garrett? It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Can I just put him out of his misery now? Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. What do you want? And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. Okay. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. I'll do what must be done. Okay. 
You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. Okay. For me, for the North Grove. I said yes. I'm sorry, Kyle. Count on you, Garrett. Use a dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. I'm so sorry, Connor. I am so sorry. Oh no, Connor! I'm so sorry. Now grab his heart, quickly, while well, his blood still pulses through it. I'm so sorry. He didn't even go where his heart is. Oh. Now bring it here. Oh God, Connor, Let's no. Let's the blood into the fire. While well, it's still warm. <coughs> Can I just not do it? The trail rake struck Swog in this Fogura Okay <coughs> Well at least the death had meaning Thank you, Garrett I can't believe it I know really it was that difficult But you did the right thing Now we must burn the body I'm sorry. I feel so bad for- I'll give Sylvie the ashes, but I don't want him to s her to see him like this. I mean, if you- you probably could have amputated the arm and did something like that. Like, was he guaranteed to die? Cause- Oh god. Oh yes! Finally, the only good storyline left. Roderick and oh, Beshka. Too many fucking gods. Two new best friends. Keep your heads Can down. we set fire to the camp? We'll have to find a way to distract them. Who set fire to it? Do, can I take my gigantic sword off my back? Horses hate being tethered during a battle. Mm -hmm. If we can just get them loose. More guards. Places crawling with them. Good observation. And with that, this is going to be the end of this video. Happy birthday to you. Hi, everyone who watches this. Hi, everyone who watches this. Kitty. Hi, Dad. I'm Can3 because I know you watch this, bro. Hi, Kai. Because I know you watch this. I learned because I know you watch this. Hi, me and editing. Bye-bye. Uh,